What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hope this is not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student, soon to be F1 doctor and a biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And guys, we finally made it. I cannot tell you guys honestly how long it's been. I've actually been living in hospital accommodation for the last one year, no, last two years of medical school. And if you guys want to check out where I've been living for the last year, then definitely go check out this video on my channel. But today is finally the day where I get to move out to my first apartment ever. I'll be saying goodbye to this uh, accommodation, saying goodbye to my friends, and um, pretty much for the rest of the medical school because this is the final day uh, here in medical school. So essentially today, I'll be finishing off the last few bits of packing, and then putting everything into a van and moving into my new uh, one bedroom apartment, which I'm really excited to show you guys. It's been a very, very long time uh, coming. So I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. It's actually quarter past 11 in the morning and I'm gonna go and pick up the van that's gonna allow me to take all of my stuff to the new apartment. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys the current situation of this apartment. It's a little bit awful, but basically all my stuff is packed and ready to go. All my stuff and all my food is packed. But in the hallway, um, I have my chair, my bike, literally all of my belongings uh, all across the entire hallway. I honestly have no idea how I was able to fit this in one bedroom and it's really, really mad, but also very proud of myself. And I'll show you guys a little guest we have in the next room. All right, so who do we have here? Hi, guys. <laughs> Who's that Oops. little? Who, who you got there? This is Milo. Yeah. Oops, oops it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, a little he baby is. Milo. He's mm -hmm. been the best helper today, helping me pack all of our stuff and get everything ready for the move. So thank you so much, Milo. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much to you, Caroline, as well. Caroline's been an absolute help today. Uh, she's really, really come over today to help me pack oh, everything. It's hot. So, Caroline, I'm super grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this is the situation in the room, so literally no space to walk. Uh, loads of my stuff is still packed here. Still need to pack my monitor over there. Bed obviously is just needs to be taken off the you know the bedding and stuff. It's really hot as well. Which is probably the worst day to be moving out, um, but we literally have no choice. So I'll see you guys on the next shot. For one of the very few occasions here in the UK, we actually have good weather for the first time in such a long time. Today's actually the hottest day of the year, as I mentioned previously. It's gonna be around 33 degrees, so probably not the best day to be moving out, but it is what it is, uh, which means that the roof must come off by all means. Um, and there's actually two things to do uh, on my agenda this morning. The first thing is that I actually need to go pick up my um, suit trousers. I actually got my suit trousers tailored. Uh, we have the um, official like graduation ball coming up. So I got my suit trousers and need to go pick that up in the shop. Second thing is pick up the van and then come back here and pack the van. So I'll see you guys in the next shot. All right, so if I take you guys through my brand new apartment and also show you Caroline's reaction, I want to take two seconds to tell you about this brand new drink called Magic Mind that I found and been using over the last couple of months and who are also kindly sponsoring the video. So the problem that I've had over the last couple of months of studying for my final exams in medical school is that I often find myself taking one, two, three, sometimes even four cups of coffee a day just in order to stay focused and awake to study for these exams. And although, as you guys know, I absolutely love drinking coffee, I love the taste of coffee, like the actual process of producing coffee. The thing is that when I drink a lot of coffee a day, I definitely get a bunch of anxiety, especially when I'm revising my exams and I'm already anxious. And also what I find is that the effects of the caffeine actually begin to wear out uh, over the couple of days that I've been drinking it and over the couple of weeks as well. And that's when I actually discovered Magic Mind. And you guys know that I'm all about trying to find the perfect morning routine in order to start my day off well, and also to get through the large amount of things that I have have on my to-do list every single day. And it also gives me a lot more energy and focus to get the things I need to do done. And as well as all the other nootropics and ingredients inside Magic Mind that help with reducing stress and also increasing relaxation, the L-theanine that's actually inside Magic Mind in combination with caffeine can actually increase your focus and attention as well. What it does do to your brain, however, is that it does bind to these ADP receptors, and that's what gives you the effects of feeling more awake. However, three to four hours later, if you don't have more coffee, the receptors actually start to unblock, which is what leads you to having a caffeine crash at the end of the day. 
So if you guys want to increase the amount of focus and attention that you have to get the things you have done, then I highly recommend you guys check out Magic Mind and they even have a limited time 20% offer off if you use my link down below in the description or my code uh, Kenji20. So that's Magic Mind. Let's get back into showing you guys my brand new apartment. All right guys, so just coming to you the day after moving in and I've got a nice fresh haircut. Uh, to be honest with you, there wasn't really much going on yesterday. Uh, we essentially spent the whole entire day unpacking. Like it took me literally four or five hours to empty the van, carry everything up to my apartment and drop it here. So as soon as that was all done, I then crashed in my bed and went to sleep. What I really wanted to do right now guys is just to kind of give you um, a bit of a flavor of what's going on in my mind right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching um, are probably at my stage or close to my stage uh, in terms of you know finishing off medical school or finishing off your studies and going into the real world of moving to your own apartment and starting your new job as well. So I've written down a few points on my phone of just what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about um, in terms of how I'm feeling in my mind. So the first thing is moving to this apartment was is definitely bittersweet. More so sweet, but definitely a bit bitter, bitter as well. The last kind of, you know, eight years of my life I've been living with my really good friends particularly here in medical school for fourth and fifth year I was actually living with the same people you know so these are people who I became very close with during the whole entire pandemic we spent time together so much time together literally every single day both in the hospital and also um, at home as well um, so being so kind of saying goodbye to all of that, saying goodbye to my friends, you know, waving at them in the car um, is definitely obviously sad because I may not see them for a couple of weeks to maybe even months at a time now. I can't just get out of my room and knock on the door when I'm bored and see if anyone, you know, anyone wants to hang out or do uh, something fun. So that was definitely bitter. Also just kind of saying goodbye to the student life, you know, leaving that free accommodation I've had for the last two years, um, which I've really, really enjoyed, you know, not being, not paying any rent, not paying any bills has been absolutely amazing. And just kind of saying goodbye to the in life moving into this apartment definitely felt real and it definitely felt a little bit scary you know moving into the real life and having to pay bills now and sort out like you know signing up for like utilities in different companies and all these things as well but on the whole guys it's been so so amazing we've only been here for like you know two days now and it's been so so amazing the first thing i wrote on my phone is just the extra room and the privacy has been so good and um, as you guys know for the last kind of you know the last eight years pretty much i've been living in my room you know so oftentimes we had a shared space like you know a kitchen or a living room and that's what we've been sharing with a bunch of people so sometimes we've been sharing that space with up to eight different people which is a lot particularly in the last two years i had a very very tiny room in hospital accommodation and you know sharing that with my girlfriend caroline has been so difficult you know i'm six foot i don't know why people say when they meet me in real life that i give off like small uh vibes but i'm six foot tall caroline is around maybe five eight five nine so we're not small people and sharing a single bed definitely has not been easy and having the extra room for all these activities. So many activities! <laughs> and, um, but having the extra room to kind of just watch TV together, you know, watch Love Island on the couch together and not having to be like cramped on a small, tiny, like laptop screen as we normally are has been amazing. Being able to cook and, you know, clean with, a, with loads of space. Spend time like co-working as well. You know, Caroline, um, you know, today was working on the sofa and I was working on the dining room table. So nice and I just can't describe to you how much the extra room and the extra privacy also um, you know, is, is really, really amazing. Next step is really kind of coming to terms with the next stage of my life. It definitely feels real now that I'm gonna be a doctor very, very soon. Act of moving out is like so metaphorical and <laughs> I don't wanna get too deep here, but it's kind of like representing me moving into the next stage of my life. Like saying goodbye to the hospital accommodation and now moving into a new place, a new environment, a new town in fact, and knowing that this is the same building and the same room that I'll be returning to when I'm on my night shifts and on my on-call shifts, it's just so nice to know. Third thing is finally being settled. So in medical school, every sort of uh, couple of months, I've had to pack all my stuff up and move to the next hospital and move to the next city or next accommodation. 
and just not being settled or having a place I can truly call home definitely hasn't been easy. You know, I really, really don't like moving. It's one of my least favorite things to do, but knowing that I'll probably be here for as long as I want really. By the way, I definitely will be doing an apartment tour very, very soon. Once I go to Ikea and like buy the furniture and make it look really, really nice, I will show you guys how much better it will look. And finally, just being able to have that peace and privacy and enjoying this view, like, I don't think I've ever had a balcony in my own apartment. Well, I, actually, no, I know for a fact I've never had a, a balcony. And I sat here with my breakfast and I ate breakfast with the sun like shining my face. And to kind of describe to you right now, there's like the sound of the seagulls. I can smell the fresh air of the river and the sea as well. So that is a ramble, guys. Sorry there wasn't, you know, too much kind of footage in this video. This is kind of um, more of like a life update sort of thing. And if you're in university and maybe you're not in the best uh, position ever, maybe you're not really enjoying your accommodation, maybe you're like me and you've had to share uh, a room on the weekends when your girlfriend comes around and you have friends coming around and stuff like that, I promise you it's all worth it. And it's only because I am living here now that I can say that. If I was born with parents who can really support me financially, and let's say I moved to this place in a place like this on day one of my student uh, time, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it as much as I do now. And that's just my opinion, you know. Focus on your exams, work as hard as you possibly can, and I promise you it will be all worth it. Uh, I'm in such a exciting period of time with my graduation coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm actually going on holiday the day after tomorrow. So the holiday coming up as well is gonna be super, super fun. Graduation after that. So, so definitely expect a bunch more videos, guys, a bunch more vlogs. If you made it this far, please, please, please take a second to drop a like, make sure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And if you made it this far in the video, please leave a Christmas tree emoji down in the comments below so I know you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys and I appreciate you so much for watching the vlogs and I'll see you guys on the next one.